given the differential equation y times y double prime plus y prime squared equals zero, we want to show that the following solutions are indeed solutions. Let's start first with y sub one of x is equal to one. Well, if y sub one of x is one, then y prime and y double prime are both going to be zero. So then I could just plug it into the equation. We'll have one times zero plus zero squared. That's going to be zero. So this checks out. So we say that y sub one of x equals one is a solution. Now we want to show that y sub two of x equals square root of x is also a solution. For that, we want to take the first and second derivatives and then we're going to plug it into the original differential equation. So we'll put y equals square root of x, y double prime is negative one over four x raised to three halves power. And then y prime is one over two times root x. Now I can think of square root of x as x to the one half power. And then I have one half minus three halves will be negative one. So there's going to be an x, the first power in the denominator. We'll keep the sign in the four. Now with one over two root x squared, we square two to get four. And then square root of x squared is x. Adding those two together, we get zero. And so y sub two of x equals square root of x is a solution. Now I want to see why are y sub one of x plus y sub two of x not a solution. So for this, I'm going to use the principle of superposition for homogeneous uh, equations. So that states that for homogeneous linear equation, so this is homogeneous because it's equal to zero, but it's not linear because we have a square here. So this is not linear, so we cannot use this. But if it was linear, then any linear combination of solutions is also a solution. So because this is not linear differential equation, we cannot say that it has a solution. Now, if you want to prove this, you can say, well, let y equal the sum of these two solutions. So then y prime will be one over two root x and then y double prime will be negative one fourth x to three halves power. So we have y times y double prime. Plus y prime squared. So this one we're going to distribute the negative one over four x to three halves power. These two are going to cancel and we'll be left with negative one over four times x to three halves power. Clearly this does not equal zero. So the sum is not a solution. 